Hello and welcome to Passkit. Today we're going to go through how to create digital loyalty cards. Whether you're a business looking to offer punch cards, discount cards or points-based rewards, we've got you covered. With Passkit you can create loyalty cards that not only track points but also offer exclusive discounts and tier-based rewards. With our sister site Loopy Loyalty you can set up stamp-based rewards. Customers can access and manage their loyalty rewards directly from their mobile devices, making it easy to collect points or stamps and redeem offers instantly. To get started, you can click on the link in the description and sign up for a 45-day free trial to test out all of Passkit's features and see if it's right for you. There's no obligation or commitment required during this period. If you're interested in stamp cards, you can sign up for a 15-day free trial with Loopy Loyalty. Once you have signed up for Passkit, you will be directed to the dashboard. To start creating a digital loyalty card, press Create New. You will see all the different passes that you can create. As we are making a loyalty card, the best option will be basic loyalty. We also have an example coffee loyalty pass that you can use as well. OK, click on Basic Loyalty and press Create Pass. We can see the Pass Editor and two types of wallets at the top. The Google Wallet. And Apple Wallet. Both of these will need to be completed. On the left hand side, the first option that we have is Add Items. You will see the current items in your pass. The next drop down is the Custom Fields, where you to add links to websites or social media, dynamic fields for real time data, and static fields that will stay the same. In the Advanced tab, we will see predefined fields like name, date of birth and email address. The next section is Themes. Here you can change the lock screen icon, logo image, strip image, and the overall color scheme of your pass, including background, title and text. Make sure when adding images you use the correct dimensions. This is the same for the Google Pass as well. Finally, we have the barcode section. You can choose from four types of barcodes for your passes. They are QR code, Aztec, PDF 417, and code 128. You will also have options to add encoded content and choose what content you would like below the barcode. The security animation option adds a shimmer effect for the Google Wallet. If you want a rotating barcode for added security, you can only use a QR code or PDF 417. If you're looking to integrate NFC technology to the pass, you can find further details on our help page now we are going to take a look at the Details tab. Here is where you can add and remove items from the back of the pass. You may want to place information about your business, social media or links to useful resources here. In the Apple Wallet section, you will see options to add your application link to the front of the pass. option for automatic updates, and notifications. Below this is where you place items on the back of your pass. We can also change settings of our template. You can change the template name, description, 
time zone, and default language. We also have settings for Google Wallet and the Apple Wallet. Let's head back to the Designs tab and explore a few more features you can use with your passes. Here, you'll find your base tier and where you can add additional tiers to your loyalty program, like silver or gold. Each new tier can offer different levels of rewards or perks for your customers or give different groups of members access to unique benefits, giving you flexibility in how you structure your program. Let's move on to the Distribution section. Here, you can customize the welcome email that your customers will receive along with their loyalty pass. You will be able to edit the subject, sender's name, content, and the design of the button. You can also create a data collection form for your customers to join your program. Press edit and you'll be taken to the form editing page. You will notice a similar design, just like editing the pass. In the items section, you will be able to drag and drop fields to the form. Next is themes. Here you can change the background color of the form and add custom CSS. Finally, you can provide password protection to your data collection page if needed. Next is the members section. Once you have completed your pass, you will add your members to your program. You can add your members manually and input all the information. You can assign members to a tier, assign the amount of points, and add other information. The most efficient way to add members to your program is by importing a CSV file with all their details. You can drag and drop the file and import large amounts of members at once. Finally, we have settings. In the program details section, you can update the program name, which will serve as the primary identifier for the entire program. Next is program settings. Here, you will be able to adjust settings for pass recovery, points types, and secondary points types. You can also set up member event data retention, giving you full control over how member information is managed and maintained. We are now going to integrations where we can connect our program with other tools and platforms. With Zapier, you can connect PassKit to the tools you already use, like Google Sheets, Gmail, or Stripe. This allows you to automate tasks with other applications. Next is webhooks. Webhooks are used to send real-time notifications for changes to your passes. Pass APIs allow you to generate unique API tokens, enabling you to connect and integrate with third-party applications. Finally, we have SmartPass links. We are now ready to create our digital loyalty card. Let's go back into the design. We will start with the Google section. First, we are going to change the organization name.
Next, we will change the title of the Google Pass. I'm going to arrange the items to the positions I would like them on the pass. I want the name and points on the front. And tier and information on the back of the pass. In the information section, we can add details of the loyalty program and links to websites and social media pages. Now we are going to the themes section. Make sure you upload the right dimensions of the logo. Next is the color of the background. I know the hex code, so I will input it now. We will now add a hero image. On Google, this will be located at the bottom of the pass. Finally, we will choose QR code. Now that we are happy with our pass, we will move on to the Apple Wallet. The color of the pass has changed, but we still need to add the logo and strip image. We will keep the points in the top right of the pass. Okay, let's go to the themes section and add the lock screen icon, logo and strip image. They will all have a certain dimension size. On the Apple Wallet, we can change the color of the title and text. I will keep this the same as it is. Finally, we will check the barcode section. Once you're satisfied with the pass, we can now add it to our digital wallets to preview the design. Let's go to the Members section, where we can manually add a member. Press Add Member and complete all the details. Now, the member you just created will appear in the Members section. You can edit your members here. Next, I'll go to Other Actions and select Pass URL. This will take you to a link where you can add the pass either to your Apple or Google Wallet. Once you have successfully added the pass to the wallet, here's how it will appear on both Apple and Android devices. Any changes you make to the pass will be updated in real time.